friends welcome to my video in this video we'll see how to disable the keyboard pop-up the soft input method when we click the edit text in your android app so let's begin new project we just need one edit text keyboard uh, disable edit text yeah you can name it anything it doesn't matter the name of the app click finish and wait for the environment to load it may take a while once the environment loads i'll also start this emulator on the right hand side of the panel in the meantime what i'll do i will just put a edit text in this app so that you can go to text and plain text is edit text or you can also say plain text yeah right so first i'll show you how this uh, so whenever we put our cursor on the edit text the default keyboard pops up right so that's expected behavior but what if for some reason we want to disable it so i'm just putting constraints and also waiting for the environment to load like the emulator to come up in parallel on the right hand side so i'll not do anything more on this edit text let that uh, uh, this app come up on the emulator on the right hand side and I'll show you whenever you click this, that window will, uh, that keyboard pop up will come up from bottom. So that's expected behavior. However, in this app, we'll disable that option. So what we'll do is we'll first get this uh, widget in our Java code as well. So what for that, I will give it an ID. ID is already there, but I'll just modify it. I just want edit text. I'm not sure why it said edit text, text, twice text. What does it mean? But nevertheless. Now, in this, I'll create a couple of class variable. One will be, of course, edit text. And the other one will be input method. Okay, so I think my cursor went on that side. Method manager. I'll show you what's the need of both, the, both of these class variables. Okay, I think I should have given a local variable here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and first I will associate this edit text to the widget what we have defined in our layout edit text. Yeah, before I post, I really want this to load up uh, so that I can showcase. So I'll just quickly rerun it because I first want to show whenever we click this uh, edit text that window will come up right. So that part I want to show first, and then I'll show how we can use this input uh, method manager variable to hide that to yeah so system service and over here probably what we can do it is we can input meta service so i'm not sure where this yeah input yeah i think there was something input meta service yeah. this one is what i need perfect let me ask you to type us that's fine yeah i think on the right hand side it is coming oh i think why it's yeah so see this keyboard is coming up right so say so if i click anywhere in the else in the app and if i click it again here so anyways it's there right so even if i say for example if i close this uh, or go to home page and again come to this app the moment the focus is on this edit text this window will come so what is what if this keyboard pop up you want to disable in your uh, app and one of the use cases if you want to bring your custom uh, input method that's when you like this to disappear so solution is very simple what we can do it is uh, in this input method okay first let me also do one thing i'll just set the focus here so set focusable set focusable and false this is so that in the first touch it should not have a focus over there when the start on in the on cat method okay and then what i'll do is in the uh, I'll define a public method public. So what I'll do is public y. I don't want to return anything. So uh, edit text click method. You can name this one again. Again, it doesn't matter. So method and view view so that I can associate it with the on click attribute of the edit text. If I go back in my layout and over here, I will just quickly associate in the the on click attribute over here so if you scroll down somewhere it should be there okay, otherwise i can just quickly search on click yeah and i'll associate that with this particular method so whenever uh, i click on this uh, or we select this uh, to give the input this particular method is called and thus we have to just add one line of the code which is basically 
no not set but yeah hide i think yeah hide soft input from window this is the option what we will use and here first we will get the two options either we do it at the complete layout level so that what we can do is by going to the root window root view and then get window token so both will work i will show you two methods and then you can make it as false so this will also work and the other approach will be uh, hide soft window from window and we'll just do it on edit text so that also will work so here we can get a window token of the edit text and this will also work so we can use either of them say for example first i will try with this first option here so i have just like commented on the second one and let me rerun and see if it works or not <coughs> so the code is running app is coming up we have to just wait for a moment yeah so if i click here see no window is coming up even if i'm cl clicking here perfect so even if my cursor is there but that pop-up window is not coming up so this is clean right so in case you want to hide or you want to restrict it will work okay the other method also no i'll show quickly i'll just comment it out the first line and second line so both will work the difference is in this case only and only edit text will get uh, impacted in this case any widget in this layout will get impacted that's the only difference so let me rerun the code and see how it uh, turns up yeah if you notice same thing so it's very clean yeah so that's all i just wanted to quickly show how easy it is uh, you can use any of the below methods uh, any of the both will work okay and um, yeah to hide the uh, input method the soft input method which is keyboard basically the uh, os level keyboard you can hide it by using this particular online code uh, in your uh, on click attribute on click method of the uh, widget so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye